Did someone say garden tour? Okay. So we have to start our garden tour inside because we haven't planted much out yet because we're just not quite there yet. So we've got a ton of herbs. We've got some fennel and sage and lemongrass in there. These are all dahlia. Um, they're called the Unwinds mix. We've got borage back there growing like gangbusters. We've got our elderberry plants also growing very nicely. Uh, we've got some basil, some more fennel, some cilantro, and then of course all the tomato babies, all the pepper babies, more herbs, more peppers, and some more flowers. I'm really excited about these asters too. Then let's jump on over to the next table. Now here I just have a few things because I did plant out the lettuce and the kale and there's a few things outside so I just picked up these um oh, what are these called clematis I picked up these clematis today at the nursery that's finally open thank goodness and I'll show you guys what I'm going to do with these but I've got some basil back there and we have some zinnias and a few other flowers here and then over here we have some flowers that are just starting to pop up in these towers. So outside right now, we have some of our herbs that I did pick up from the nursery today. I did start herbs, but I wanted to pick up some more. This is just a whole tray of brassicas here. And this is a tray of sage, oregano, and thyme and rosemary. Look at the variegated sage. Isn't that just beautiful? How could I not pick that up? And over here we have our strawberry tower that's still being brought in at night. Once it's nice enough, we'll uh, stack it all up and set it outside. Here is our, oh, lavender, lavender bush, I think it is, right here. <laughs> lilac, lilac bush, that's what it is. That's doing really well. And some more sage here from our local nursery. Moving outside now to the chicken coop slash garden shed that I hung some pretty things up in today. Little sign I painted for Avery Jean. And of course I garden, I drink, and I know things. So this is the barren outside space. Because we're in Northeast Ohio, we're not quite ready to put much out. I did fill up this green stock with lettuce and kale, and I threw some in this little kitty bed here, kitty pool bed, just to get those outside because we should be okay. And this needs mowed like crazy. We've got some onions popping up in here, but I'm really super excited about the garlic bed. These are looking really good out here. And then over here, just more space. The tarped off area is going to be a three sisters garden. And then where the cardboard is, it's going to be new raised beds. And the pergola is going to sit on a floating deck that we're going to build right out here. So it's, it's barren right now, but we're getting there. We should be ready to plan out here um, probably the beginning of May, mid-May. We'll get everything going. There's the chicken tractor. Last but not least, we're out front. Um, we do have some of the perennials coming back up here again. And over at the bottom of this trellis, there are hollyhocks coming back. Uh, just picked up this brand new fern today. Her name is Laferna. Say hello. Over here, I've got more lettuce and kale in this smaller tower that I just put in yesterday. They're looking a little bit sad, so I'm hoping they perk back up. We'll put some herbs in these bins, brand new water barrel, and then this whole area here is going to be our herb garden. We're going to fill in with river rock and put in another long raised bed like this one 
and this will be all for herbs. It's a nice little bench I got from the antique shop. This is a butterfly bush. We got to cut that back a little bit. It's going to start coming back really nice. And of course, our sunflowers. If we go out here, we have daffodils that were a wedding gift from one of our good friends, Hope. So there's our wedding daffodils and the piece de resistance. The Queen's Throne. I shared a picture of this on the page um, when I found it at the thrift store and Todd and I were out shopping and we decided not to get it that day but I went back and I talked her down a little bit on it. So the clematis that I showed you earlier I would like to plant somehow within under on this chair that way it'll climb up and vine all over it and I got I think pink purple and red clematis so give me some suggestions how would you guys plant those that way they can climb up and all over this beautiful chair so that's our garden so far it's a work in progress but we're definitely getting there <laughs>